Gaia and Ubuntu. I'm Dr. Michelle Merrill. This is part of the Nova Sutras Project. Today I'd like to talk about how to use drawing the Nova Sutras logo as a meditation. So we do this in a way that's very similar to what I've talked about before with them calling the corners. So basically you're going to start with a direction that the sun is in roughly on the compass directions, go around sunwise following the compass directions, and then uh, draw the interior lines. Now the goal here is not to do a perfect drawing, but do something that's lovely and aesthetic and that represents how you feel about this. So I'm going to start with my top facing the east. Now if you're on a horizontal surface, try to actually work with the compass directions, face toward the sun. I like to do this, my favorite is to do this with a stick in the sand. Uh, you could do it um, with something else like charcoal or chalks on a stone or paved surface. Um, you could do it by arranging found objects or if you have colored sand to pour uh, those can be very beautiful and you can really take your time and really deeply engage with it i'll show you the the quick version here um, on paper just as an example but be creative with this that is part of the joy of nova sutras is that uh, we welcome creative expression we welcome variation so here we go again. I'll uh, start morning in the Northern Hemisphere. So I'll start toward the east. May all beings to the east abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the south abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the west abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. May all beings to the north abide in Gaia and Ubuntu. And with this first uh, bar across the bisection or the the bottom of the tree canopy, it doesn't have to be a straight line, it could be wavy, but may all beings above abide in Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings below abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. And then starting left or right, whichever you feel more affiliated with you, resonates with you more. So, may I abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. And may all beings abide in Agaya. Now you can leave it with a simple outline. Again, if you're just drawing with a stick in the sand, that might be all you do. Uh, you could fill in if you have different colored chalks, if you have um, different colored sands, if you are building something out of found objects, then you can fill in the center. And I like to start at the top and start about thinking about beings above. And this doesn't necessarily mean uh, literally over my head, although certainly there are likely to be uh, tiny beings at the very least, and if I'm in the shade of a tree or something, many, many beings above. Um, but in this case, I think of it as anything that dwells above the surface, anything that reaches skyward, um, anything that lives above the surface of the land or the waters. And may all those beings above Abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. Now, if you're working on a, a white surface, you may not need to fill in the bottom, um, but depending on what you're working on and working with, you might fill this in. And may all beings below the surface of things, all things below the surface of the soil and the waters, so many beings, more beings than above. May all of those beings 
abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. And then may all beings near to me abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. May all beings far away abide in a Gaia and Ubuntu. And then as I fill in this symbolizing the trunk of the tree, I think of this as really symbolizing Ubuntu, really symbolizing that profound connection between things, the way that a tree connects the sky to the earth, the way that I am connected to everything in the universe. May we all abide in that Agaya and that profound Ubuntu. May that give us strength. May you abide in Agaya and Ubuntu. And may you go forth and spread with Ubuntu and Agaya for everyone you meet today. Thank you.